Hey guys, what's up? Alright, in this video I want to talk about system arguments and um, or they're also known as uh, command line arguments. A lot of times in a Python program you're going to see something like this. It's going to be like sys.argv which um, basically I believe it's like short for argument value but don't quote me on that. Um, but I, it looks like our argument value and that seems fine to me. Um, so you'll see something like system.argv, typically like one or something like that, and you're like, well, what the hell is that? Well, what that is is um, what anytime you have a system argument for your Python program, so if your program or script can actually um, alter the way it functions based on the amount, the arguments that are given to it uh, when the program is executed. And what I mean by that, let me show you. We're going to import something called sys, um, S-Y-S. And now we can go ahead and we can um, look at the actual command line argument. So we're just going to simply print out, um, we'll say sys.argv1, um, or 0, I'm sorry. So 0. And what 0 is going to be, it's always going to be the full path to wherever the Python script is located. So when we run this, you're going to see a path that goes right to where this tutorial script is and as you can see here um, let me get rid of this so I'm not confusing the issue so when we run the program you can see that it is printing out the exact path to where this tutorial script can be run or be found um, now you can also just simply say print sysargv and what that's going to do is actually going to print it in a list format so you can see there's only one list item because there's no arguments passed in. Now, if we actually pass in an argument, I want to show you something. If I go like this and I run this um, tutorial.py, which is the name of the script, and I give it like a, a, a argument like test, right? It actually doesn't show you the test and the the list item there because I'm using Windows. And you have to actually explicitly say Python tutorial.py, and then you can actually put in here. Uh, as many arguments as you want. So we'll say arg2. So test is argument1. arg2 is test, uh, or is our, uh, t argument2 is arg2. Um, so you can see that it's now a list. So if we wanted to actually say sys, um, print sys arg, and we'll just say, it uh, starts counting at um, zero, but remember zero is the name of the script. So we'll just say print the second argument. And when I execute it here, you're going to see that it prints arg2. And if I actually tried to do three, you can see that the list is out of range because there is not a third argument there. But anyway, you can have, um, I believe, an unlimited number of arguments, but typically I don't usually see more than like four or five tops. Otherwise, there's, um, you know, there may be another way of going about it. But um, you do see these sys args in, in the um, programs all the time, and that's all they are. They're just accepting. Um, command line arguments and then using them um, within their script and there's a lot of reasons why you would do that um, like say if you're iterating a list of items and those items are a DVD and a DVD is uh, handled in a certain way as opposed to a blu-ray so you could give a um, command line argument so you could have the same script that does the same logical stuff except it just varies um, just slightly if it's a DVD or blu-ray um, so you can pretty much reuse the script by just saying, okay, the command line argument is Blu-ray or it's DVD, and um, you know, essentially you can uh, reuse the program. That's probably it's it's a it's an example, but there's multiple reasons why you would want to be able to pass in arguments that could be dynamic to a script. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.